The next question is about India. Members of the Hindu community, Dalits, Muslims, and Christians face greater threat under the BJP rule in India. How concerned is USERF about the ongoing violations in India? Is the US in any position to make India comply and protect its minorities? We'll hand that off to you, Commissioner Bhargava. Thank you, Chair Manza. So uh, for the third year in a row, uh, the US Commission on International Religious Freedom has uh, recommended to the state that the State Department designate India as a country of particular concern for the systematic ongoing and egregious violations of religious freedom that are occurring within the country. And there are many reasons that underlie that recommendation. Uh, in particular, we are concerned about the ways in which uh, there has been a move through policy and through rhetoric to, to a more overtly Hindu state um, that is othering and pushing out those who are uh, religious minorities who are non Hindu. And, um, and, and that has taken place in a, in a couple of different ways. One, uh, the, the, the repression of critical voices and of religious minorities through the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and the Sedition Law, uh, the ways in which those who are uh, organizations that are actually uh, supporting religious communities, uh, NGOs are being um, funds and support to those organizations are being cut off because of the ways in which the Foreign Contributions Regulation Act has been, uh, has been used and wielded by the, by the government. Uh, we're also very much concerned about the ways in which um, the, the, the laws on citizenship uh, and, and there's been, you know, continued movement in, in Assam um, as one state in which there have been citizenship laws that have been um, used to try and, and suggest that, um, that, that certain communities do not belong, and particularly Muslim communities, uh, but the ways in which that is continued to, to grow um, as, a, as a movement around the country. Uh, and, and, and of course, there have been um, many um, attacks on religious communities across India. Of, of Christians, of Muslims, of Sikhs, of, uh, of other religious minorities. And those, uh, those attacks um, and the ways in which they have been either not addressed or facilitated by a government at different levels are, are also of significant concern to us um, at, at USERF. Uh, lastly, wanted to, to raise uh, the ways in which we're seeing increasing numbers of laws, anti-conversion laws, that in their implementation are really putting um, those who, um, who uh, seek to, to do everyday, um, uh, move, move forward in everyday ways, um, get married, uh, be able to partner with one another, be able to live in, in neighborhoods with one another, the ways in which those are putting um, communities and people at risk who are religious minorities. And so uh, by, by allowing for mob violence to occur, by, uh, by suggesting um, that those who, um, those who might convert to a different religion are in and of themselves, um, you know, breaking breaking the law or, or, or not something that should be supported. So, in all of those ways, we are are deeply concerned about what has been taking place in India, and and again, for that reason, have once again does, made the recommendation to the State Department that India be designated a country of particular concern. Thank you so much. We have a question here about um, 